Where are you going? I'm going outside for a walk. Without a coat? What's wrong with it? If you go outside without a coat, you'll catch a cold. Um, I don't think... And you'll infect the rest of the family. Oh. Then your sister will have to miss class. No way. And she'll get a bad grade and fail her course. It's a slippery slope fallacy. A position that argues that one action will inevitably lead to a chain of increasingly negative consequences without proving this chain is actually inevitable. Let's test it out with our AI fallacy detector. I'll paste it here and click analyze. And we need to wait a few seconds because it uses AI to analyze the text and boom! It picked up the slippery slope fallacy with 95% confidence level. It also mentions post hoc fallacy regarding the sentence, if you go outside without a coat, you'll catch a cold with 90% confidence. The description is, assuming causation from correlation without sufficient evidence. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Let's get into work. We made this tool using MGX, which is our sponsor for this video. They help you build apps in minutes using several cute AI agents. We have Mike, a team leader, Alex, an engineer, Emma, the product manager, David as our data analyst, and Bob, who's an architect. Okay, I want you to create a fallacy detector for me. A minimal editor in which logical fallacies are detected based on context. It uses Claude Sonnet 4 as their LLM, but you can change this to GPT or Gemini and other models. Okay, now Mike gets to work and starts coding stuff for us. Looking at the code, it's funny that it's hard coding the fallacies one by one with patterns to recognize them. Here we have slippery slope, and the pattern says this will lead to chaos or disaster, destruction or collapse. Okay, I don't think it's going to work, but let's give it a try. We have some sample texts here. Let's give one of them a try. My doctor says this investment opportunity is great, so you should definitely put your money in it. Okay, it didn't think. It immediately recognized a fallacy here, because it's just recognizing patterns, not analyzing the text. It says appeal to authority, highlighting the my doctor says. Looking at the details, another example of this fallacy would be Einstein believed in God, so God most exist. Well, it might be an appeal to authority, but the coded patterns obviously match the sample text right. If I change the doctor to, let's say, teacher, it still picks up the appeal to authority fallacy. So probably the word teacher is also hard coded. But let's say my PhD student well, it doesn't recognize that anymore. Well, let's try something else. Let's say my lawyer, it gets it right. But if I say my legal advisor, yeah, it doesn't work anymore. So our tool now uses pattern matching, which is far from what we actually need for proper fallacy detection. Mike could also explain to me. The editor uses pattern matching. Think of it like a smart search function, which is basically just not smart. You type text. The system scans your text in real time. It looks for patterns like, you're stupid to recognize ad hominem. Okay, getting back to work. I need to get my Claude's API key. Now let's give it a name, fallacy detector. No worries, I'll delete it before publishing the video. And I'll paste it here into MGX. I need it to use a real LLM. I will provide you with my Claude API's secret key. Use this key to access Claude's sonnet for thinking mode for detecting fallacies. My bad. I should have said extended mode, but never mind. Mike gets to work again. It's interesting that he assigns Alex to work on this task. It's going to use Sonnet 3.5, but that's all right. And here's our new detector. The government's new policy must be perfect because no one has proven it's flawed. And besides, the mayor is a family man who coaches Little League. If we allow people to criticize this policy, next thing you know, they'll want to overthrow the entire government. Okay, this one is taking longer which is a good sign, the chances are high that the detector is using Claude's API to detect the fallacies. Here we go. It detected three fallacies. Argument from ignorance, ad hominem, and slippery slope. Let's see. Claiming something is true because it hasn't been proven false. Must be perfect because no one has proven it's flawed. It's a good catch with a confidence level of 95%. I really like the idea of confidence level because it reflects the reality that fallacy detection often isn't binary. Context matters, statements can be ambiguous, and a detector should communicate when it's uncertain rather than treating every potential fallacy as definitive. We also have ad hominem detected, appealing to personal characteristics instead of addressing the argument. The mayor is a family man who coaches Little League, and, yay, the obvious slippery slope. If we allow people to criticize this policy, Next thing you know, blah, blah, blah. 
there's this small problem that the marked text is a bit off location. It doesn't correspond to the actual problematic text, but we can tolerate it for now. Let's see how Claude would analyze the same text for logical fallacies. I'll enable the extended thinking to get better answers from it. Analyze this text for logical fallacies. It suspects appeal to ignorance, irrelevant appeal to character, and yes, slippery slope. Our tool has detected ad hominem, but here we don't see it. It is perfectly normal for evaluations to differ to some degree. What's important is that there's a logic behind the analysis so that we can judge for ourselves whether or not it is sound. Okay, now let's analyze a CNN article using our detector. It's a news article, not an analysis. So I expect not many fallacies there, but let's give it a try. Okay, it detected two fallacies. As I said, the highlights position aren't accurate. It would have been also nice to make them clickable. The first detected fallacy is appeal to consequences. It's actually a quote within the text from Tsakna, Foreign Minister of Estonia. But the AI confidence is 70% quite low. And we have false dichotomy, which is again from a quote in the text. Russia's trying to undermine NATO's coherence, but I think they're achieving the exact opposite. Now let's give it a try with a transcript of Trump's speech. Okay, here we have one. President Donald Trump Arwell address speech. Copy. Paste. Analyze. Okay, four possible fallacies are detected. Highlights probably are mispositioned. Let's look at the list. False dichotomy, appeal to hyperbole, post hoc ergo propter hoc, and appeal to emotion. Let me analyze the same text for fallacies using Claude Sine 4. Now analyze this text for fallacies. Okay. I see some similarities. Post hoc ergo has been mentioned by both. Appeal to emotion and false dichotomy too. I see that Claude has detected several more fallacies compared to our tool, but I'm still happy with our tool's results as a starting point. I played around it a bit and made a new version with better design. It has sample text from multiple fields. Let's try one from education. It says standardized testing is completely useless because my son is very smart but doesn't test well. The AI has detected a few fallacies. Let's check out one. Slippery slope mentioning, if we keep using these tests, we'll destroy creativity in our children forever. Good catch. Confidence level 95%. The highlights still are problematic though. Here's a new version. Let's try a text from social field. Climate change is obviously a hoax because it snowed last week. Funny, but also quite easy to detect. Oh, this new update has an analysis summary, which is cool. Marker highlights seem to be better, but still not totally accurate, but that's acceptable. I just don't like that I have to scroll through the fallacies in this small box. All right. This is a final version. The design looks pretty cool now. The highlights are interactive and I like it. I can click on a marker and it shows me the corresponding fallacy. This is really cool. And now I can publish this tool on web. Let me see. There we go. Here is our AI logical fallacy detector. There's still much room for improvement, but that's a very good starting point. I would say it's a good working MVP or prototype for something more sophisticated. Thanks to MGX. You can find a link in the description below if you'd like to try out MGX. Let me know which features you think would be beneficial to add to this tool. Subscribe to Clarified Mind before you go. See you soon.